Not a bad view. Great way to start the morning. But I am hungry. Need to eat. So I'm gonna try one of these, um, what do you call them? Freeze dried breakfast. I got the biscuit and gravy. Figured it's a uh, good morning to try one of these puppies. I've never had, I don't know if I've ever made one of these. Uh, I certainly haven't made a video about it. And uh, it's a great thing to have on a Friday morning, I guess, right? So see how it tastes. So apparently how you cook one of these, again, I haven't done one, is uh, you add boiling water and pour it into the pouch, which is kind of nice because if all I have to do is boil the water, there's not gonna be any dishes to clean up, which is great. Um, this does say that it would actually feed two, so I'll probably have a little leftover. Not sure what I'll do with that then, but we'll give it a try and I'm gonna boil some water here. So that's what it looks like on the inside. There's a little packet you have to take out. And you just pour your water in. Smells good, that's for sure. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't have a measuring cup, so I kind of eyeballed it. I probably could use a little more water, but that's okay. well time to head into town need to get some gas make a run to Walmart but I thought I would show you uh, what I'm looking at across the street from where I'm parked right now it's kind of funny or ironic so right across from the street from me is this huge massive house um, I don't know if the video does it justice but and they do have a great view looking out over this water but I don't think I'd want to trade places with them. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful house. I'd probably love to see the inside, but to me, that house is the opposite of freedom because there's all kinds of cost to owning something that big. Your mortgage, your insurance, your taxes. And even though it's a beautiful house with a beautiful view, you're stuck there for the next 30 years or, or however long. Whereas the nomadic lifestyle, you can live anywhere and it doesn't cost you a fraction of what that would cost you. And you can travel and see other places. So I don't think I'd want to pl trade places with them, but maybe I'm fooling myself. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments.
So I'm not working today. I decided that I'd have a little fun and go check out some options for a tiny home with a she shed. Not really a she shed, but that's kind of the joke. But I thought I'd take uh, you on uh, just a little expo exploration today. I'm over here at Lowe's and I'm gonna check out some of the sheds. They just put up some new ones here. They have them built and set out so you can take a look at them. But um, I love looking at stuff that could potentially be a tiny home. Thought maybe you'd enjoy it as well. So I thought I'd include it in this video. Let's go. This is pretty cool, actually. Um, I'm trying to figure out what size it is, but it's got a regular door with a couple side windows, um, a little bit of a loft, and actually, there's probably a couple different things you could do with this bottom part right here, but um, you could definitely have that upstairs part be a bed. The only bad thing about this particular model would be the fact that it has a garage door rather than a regular door, but definitely something that you could turn into a little tiny home for sure. That's pretty neat as well. The thing about these lofts is you could probably extend it out as far as you'd want. And uh, for a guy my height, this would be just fine. I'm 5'7", so still plenty of room. But these are pretty cool. Now these are starting to get smaller and they don't have um, a loft. So very basic build though. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you, uh, if you did, you hit the like button, leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a great day.